everyone, my name is Dana and welcome to the Plant Life Podcast. We appreciate you tuning in and on today's podcast we are learning all about vitamin E. At Plant Life there are quite a few of our products that use uh, vitamin E so I thought that we could take a minute and talk about this great ingredient and why we use it. To begin, the definition of what vitamin E is, is four tocopherol molecules and four tocotrienol molecules, making up a group of eight compounds. While vitamin E is made up of both of these molecules, its scientific or Latin name that you will find on packaging is just tocopherol. Did you know that vitamin E isn't just vitamin E? There are actually four different types, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta tocopherol. According to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, the most commonly found type of vitamin E in North American diets is gamma tocopherol, which is readily found in corn or soybeans. The second most common type of vitamin E is alpha tocopherol, which comes from things like wheat germ, sunflower, or safflower. Interestingly, the Micronutrient Information Center, or MIC, of the Linus Paul Institute at Oregon State University summarizes that alpha tocopherol is the type of vitamin E that the body prefers and is the only type of vitamin E that can help with vitamin E deficiencies. Vitamin E in general is a great antioxidant and is excellent for the skin. Alpha tocopherol, according to MIC, is a chain breaking antioxidant, which helps prevent damage from free radicals and helps maintain cell membrane integrity by preventing oxidation. It is also considered a radical scavenger, which means it is a substance that helps remove unwanted impurities. This is great because antioxidants are good for maintaining healthy skin and protect against free radicals that can cause skin damage and contribute to signs of aging and wrinkles. Here at Plant Life, we use vitamin E that is derived from sunflowers, which is alpha tocopherol. We use specifically sunflower-derived vitamin E because it does not come from genetically modified plants, making our vitamin E GMO-free. Because of its antioxidizing power, vitamin E makes a great ingredient to help reduce oxidation of other ingredients. While not a preservative, it can act as a natural preservative for oil-based products and helps create a more stable product with a longer shelf life. Vitamin E also helps moisturize, soothing flaky, dry, or itchy skin. Because it is moisturizing, it can help with sunburn symptoms like burning and itching and also signs of psoriasis. Experimental studies show that vitamin E can be photoprotective as well to prevent damage from UVs, further assisting sunburn relief. Some studies even show that it may help reduce under eye dark circles. Using for hands, vitamin E can help hydrate cracked and dry cuticles as well. If you're interested in vitamin E products, we carry a great soap called Carrot and Vitamin E that combines the power of vitamin E with all the good nutrients and antioxidants from carrots into one amazingly moisturizing soap. I personally use the soap on my face for a long time. It has a very mild aroma and it feels really soothing. Great for those with dry or flaky skin or if you spend a lot of time in the sun. A lot of our other products use vitamin E as well, such as our body oils. Ultra hydrating for dry skin from the cold pressed plant extracts, vitamin E adds a little extra antioxidant effect. Simple to use, our body oils go a long way too. Just apply a small amount to the skin after showering and you'll have beautiful glowing skin. If you'd like to check out our carrot and vitamin E soap, body oils, or other products that use vitamin E, please visit us at www.plantlife.net and try out these amazing products today. That about wraps up this podcast, and thank you everyone for listening, and please subscribe for more podcasts. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Instagram. Thanks again. See you next time.